Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, you go to bookmap.com. Uh, there's a free 14-day trial period uh, that comes with education. You get access to the Bookmap Advanced Order Flow webinars. That starts in about a half hour. <clears throat> goes for about an hour. Uh, and um, the bookmap educational course, uh, you get you get this as well. The uh, webinar supports the education uh, course or the, uh, the the content there uh, in the course. Uh, and there's other uh, educational resources as well. Uh, so uh, if you have any uh, problems or uh, issues or questions, you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. And uh, let's go to the website here. And let's scroll up to the top. All right. Okay, so uh, let's click on Explore. Uh, first, uh, there's the intro video for those of you who are new here. Uh, just um, uh, a minute long or so gives you an idea of what Bookmap is, what it's showing you. And let's uh, continue on down here. <clears throat> okay, so you can click here. Now, uh, tomorrow you will need to click here for the next uh, webinar. Uh, that will be free uh, starting on Monday. Uh, it'll be after uh, you know tomorrow's uh, webinar. In the afternoon, I'll update this link, and uh, you can uh, uh, register for the next uh, next week's webinar series here. Okay, and then uh, let's see more information about the platform benefits. Uh, and uh, scroll down. There's Bookmap for equities uh, with Nasdaq Total View here. You can learn more about that. And then connectivity. Uh, you will need one of these data providers uh, or through your broker that has one of these data providers uh, to connect Bookmap to the live market. So Bookmap is a software platform just like NinjaTrader is uh, or uh, TTX Trader or TradeStation or Thinkorswim. Those are all platforms. Uh, Bookmap is a platform as well. Uh, however, we're not a we're not a data provider. So uh, just like uh, Ninja Trader, you will need a data provider, uh, and you'll plug that into uh, receive your data. Uh, and uh, uh, we also connect to Ninja Trader through the API in Ninja, like uh, uh, like any other uh, Ninja indicator or Ninja Cater. All right, uh, and the same with uh, TTX Trader Pro uh, and uh, Interactive uh, Trader Workstation too. Okay. All right, scroll down a little bit further. Here's where you can give Bookmap a try. Uh, there's Bookmap Basic, uh, and then there's other features uh, that will uh, round out the Bookmap Advanced and Quant versions. All right, so you can see it's 49 per month for the Basic. Uh, you, it's billed quarterly, so uh, it's going to be 147 for three months, and then you can see 99 per month uh, for the Advanced. The difference between these two uh, are the features. Okay, the uh, ability to trade right from the chart and these proprietary uh, order flow indicators that we have developed. Okay, and uh, if you don't have a data feed, you can click here, uh, find out more about, um, uh, you know, getting a, a free demo data feed uh, if you want, and then you can uh, then subscribe to the 14-day uh, free trial as well here in Bookmap. Okay, if you can't decide which one's for you, you can click here and you get the features uh, list. Okay, it should pop up. Here we go. All right, and uh, you can see the differences between the two, or three, uh, and you'll see it more, more at the bottom here of what, what uh, the differences are. All right. Okay, uh, follow us on Twitter here, social media. Uh, there's bookmap. Um, or at bookmap underscore pro, and uh, you can subscribe to our YouTube page. Okay, so for those of you who are new here, um, I would uh, I would recommend going to the uh, let's go to the home page. Okay, and um, watch some of these intro videos uh, just to get a feel for what Bookmap is. Uh, then there's the features and components to understand uh, more uh, about. Uh, the features in Bookmap uh, and what makes up uh, Bookmap, and then these order flow video snippets, which are, are really short and concise um, videos that just go through uh, the market phenomena or order flow phenomena that Bookmap uncovers. So this is where the rubber really meets the road, is starting to understand this uh, information here uh, within Bookmap. 
All right, so uh, you understand how to use Bookmap with the features, features and components, but you understand um, really uh, how to trade with Bookmap uh, or understand order flow uh, and then integrate that within your trading uh, with these order flow video snippets. Okay, now the material here is very similar to what we go into depth uh, with the advanced uh, analysis webinars. Okay, that'll start in, uh, in about... Uh, uh, 34 minutes, or, uh, or I'm sorry, not 34, uh, in uh, like 25 minutes or so, okay, 23 minutes. All right, if you want to watch some of those um, uh, advanced order flow webinars, there's some recordings here uh, from selected webinars, and you can uh, you can watch those. Uh, and uh, let's get into book map. All right, so. Um, just curious about some of the bigger picture markets here. Um, just, let's jump in here and uh, we'll look at, uh, uh, maybe we'll look at the NASDAQ. We've been covering the NASDAQ lately and it's been, uh, it's been pretty good. Um, so um, uh, all sorts of uh, different stuff we've seen the last few days uh, here uh, in, uh, in the order flow. All right. So, uh, now, what do we see here? Okay, so um, especially for you new guys, uh, this looks rather complex, okay? So looks like there's a lot of things going on here. Um, it's really not, and the, the demo here that I'm gonna go through will show you uh, that it's, it's actually pretty pretty simple stuff. And in fact, just a candlestick chart is uh, in, con in concept uh, is more complex than what you're seeing here, all right? So uh, we do have a, a indicator sub panel here uh, I'm not going to cover that. Uh, I'm going to uh, just look at the main book map historical chart. And then you can see over here, uh, we have our data columns and our dome. If I zoom in here, okay, uh, we can see the uh, depth of market, the dome here in book map, which is the COB column. All right. Okay. So what are we looking at here in book map? Uh, well, it's um, uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, to be honest, there's three... Uh, different items that we're looking at here. Uh, one is just historical best bid and offer. In fact, I'm going to start just to demo this. Um, I'm going to turn off some of this data. Okay. And then I'll show you the candlesticks here, but this is the historical best bid and offer. That's it. You know, there's, there's no rotation. There's no candlestick. There's no time frame. It's just historical best bid and offer. Okay. Throughout. Uh, and, um, then we're looking at the volume, okay? The dots here that show the volume on the historical best bid and offer, right? And uh, the last item that we're showing here uh, in this chart is the heat map, okay? And what is the heat map showing you? It's showing you the limit order book, okay? This book over here, okay, or this is not really a limit. There's no limit to it. Uh, this is uh, from the... From Rhythmic, uh, we have a complete depth of market here. Okay, but um, uh, here is your is your uh, order book, and we're looking at liquidity uh, in the order book. And it's an important part to read here, really important part. Look at how they just came in here at 62.20 with high contracts, 74, or it was 90 earlier. Look how they how it just uh, uh, traded into that, and they pulled that liquidity. Looks like, yep, they pulled the majority pulled that liquidity. All right, this is the kind of insight you're going to get. All right now, that nine, those 90 contracts were here at 62.20. Okay, now there's 27. How are you going to know that there were 90 90 contracts there? How are you going to know if there were those 90 contracts traded or not? Uh, it's going to be rather difficult. It happened really quickly. Okay, and this is what Bookmap does with the heat map: was we record that data and and project it onto the chart. Okay, using the heat map. So you can see we're charging up through uh, very quickly up into these areas here of high liquidity, all right? And um, some of it's trading and a lot of it's pulling too, okay? You can see where you can make that distinction. It's where it's pulling and where it's trading, right? And I'll show you the, the differences later. Uh, seeing a little bit of phenomena as well of a, a, a book flip, okay? With high liquidity that was here on the offer is now on the other side on the bid. All sorts of stuff unfolds just by this historical view of the limit order book. Uh, and um, 
uh, we uh, we want to understand this information. It it uh, really has an effect on price. It's the auction, okay? And uh, yeah, nice nice flip. I mean, uh, at, at all sorts of different levels here. So um, uh, you know, looking for a continuation to the upside. It looks like it wants to accept uh, at this point at least above 25. All right. Uh, and um, anyway, the uh, uh, the order book is the uh, the heat map that you see here, and um, uh, that what is probably the part that ma looks at makes it look rather uh, complex here. But uh, we'll get into e exactly some of the details here, uh, and um, you know it's just adding and pulling of liquidity. That's it. It's just being recorded. Uh, yeah, nice sweep. Uh, absolutely. I mean, this is this is pretty. Uh, uh, pretty pretty impressive here. Um, uh, so um, uh, we 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 go we'll we'll cover this in the advanced uh, order flow webinar. But uh, um, we see a really nice uh, reversal pattern down here, um, head and shoulders. But you know we we put uh, the head and shoulders into context in the order flow, uh, and we can see the drive up here, which is you know the key. Uh, and we trade to a new level up above here. Look at the acceptance up here. Everything looks looks points pretty nicely to uh, uh, the breakout here. All right. Uh, but um, anyway, we'll um, uh, just uh, re refrain from that for just a moment and just go over some of the basics here. I'm going to turn on the uh, uh, candlestick chart and we're going to turn off all of the rest of the um, uh, data here. Okay. And um, now look at it. Look at the chart here. All right, this is rather hard to read. Uh, this is a five-minute candlestick chart. Uh, we can see the wicks. We can see the bodies. We can start to put together uh, some of the patterns here. Uh, and um, you know, uh, at best, though, it's still a guess. There's so much more data here that we have no clue and no. There's no transparency into. Um, this this uh, uh, candlestick pattern here, and in fact, this time it actually worked. Yesterday it did not. Um, we see um, uh, buying pressure starting to come in, and then we see it kind of close above this area here. We go sideways for uh, 10 or 15 minutes, and then we see the, the nice breakout to the upside. Uh, but we have no clue where the volume is trading. We have no understanding of what type of volume is trading. Uh, is it aggressive buying or selling? And we don't know where uh, and how much. Okay, all of that information here is is lost, um, and um, that's the kind of insight we want to make more informed trading decisions, and that's where Bookmap solves the issue. If we just turn on the historical best bid and offer, we can turn on the volume subchart here. If we just turn on the historical best bid and offer, okay, we're going to start to understand the price action within that five-minute period. Okay, so this back and forth. Uh, these little microstructural areas, for example, this low here. Okay, this is uh, this is just how these markets trade. Um, we can see that uh, there's a uh, a price structure here. Okay, it's uh, kind of going sideways. We see a low, but uh, we don't come back to that low here, and we kind of go sideways for a bit, and then we see that um, uh, we broke above here, came back into the middle. Right, it's going to kind of bounce probably off of the. Uh, of this little range here, there's going to be a, a point of control, and uh, we're going to looks like we're bouncing off of that here, uh, and then we found buyers. Buyers pulled the market up. We're going to see this in Bookmap in the with the volume dots. We're going to see that uh, uh, buyers stepped in. All right, uh, we're going to understand the shift in the order flow from uh, large um, red dots pulling the market down to a shift and uh, more green dots pulling the market up over here. Okay. This is what's completely lost in this candlestick chart. We have no clue about that. Okay, and I'm going to show you here uh, in Bookmap. All right, and here we go. Okay, so uh, here are our, our large red dots pulling that market down. Okay, very indicative of order flow in a trend. Uh, more selling at lower lows. Uh, retest back up into uh, lower highs. We see less volume, and then we see more again aggressive selling at lower lows okay and then we see the difference here right now look at up up in this area we see that there, there's more aggressive volume and it's green most of it is green up in these areas here and we've made a, a, a higher high now okay we've broken the structure 
and, and we see it with volume. Okay, just understanding these very simple concepts um, is uh, giving us a lot of insight to the potential for a reversal at this point. This is something we, we, we go over in detail in these uh, advanced uh, order flow webinars. Okay, and um, okay, we rotate uh, and kind of go sideways for a bit, but then look at the change again. Okay, this confirms uh, the breakout, right? More volume trading at a higher high. Uh, this is going higher, uh, and indeed it did. Okay, all right, so, uh, anyway, that's just the volume, and we understand where that volume is taking place. Uh, we're understanding uh, how much uh, and uh, what type. Okay, and to get into the details here, because uh, it's um, something that uh, Bookmap is able to handle all of these different data points, and there are millions of data points here. It's just not open, high, low, close. Four data points of a uh, uh, of a five minute or ten minute or whatever time frame or period or whatever. Uh, you're looking at, okay? There are millions of data points here, and Bookmap is able to handle all of those in real time, okay? We have a, a complex event processor that can handle all of this. So if I zoom in here, I can show you the, the, the details, okay? So um, here's our historical best bid and offer right here. Best offer is red, uh, green is best bid, okay? These dots here, okay? These are aggressive market buy orders. Uh, they, they're aggressive because they cross the spread. They take liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, they're not providing liquidity. The guys in the limit order book over here, they're providing liquidity. Okay? They, they, they want to sell at these specific levels or they want to buy at these specific levels. Okay, the aggressor takes liquidity uh, from uh, these guys in the limit order book. Okay? Now, we're looking at milliseconds here. Uh, and very microstructural areas. However, Bookmap can handle, and you can see as I zoom in here, note how I'm pulling apart all of this trading activity, and we're getting a feel for exactly what traded here. And in fact, we can go down into the nanosecond level here. We're looking at billions of seconds. And this was one trade that was for volume of 35, okay? Uh, I can, we can verify that over here in the uh, insert a new column, and we can change that into a trade counter. There's one trade, volume of 35, okay? So we know exactly what traded here, right? We also know that if I start zooming back out and I compress this time frame, and we're going to higher time frames now, note how Bookmap handles this data. It's been aggregated only visually or graphically. All right, so this one dot, let's zoom in just a little bit more. I'm not able to put it within my chart range. Well, this one dot here of, uh, or these three dots here are five different distinct um, trade events, okay, for a volume of 39. All right, so if I zoom back out, note how Bookmap is aggregating visually uh, the, the uh, volume information and, um, and displaying it here. So we have an understanding of really what took place, All right? So aggressive volume came in and lifted the offer here in this area. Okay, a little bit of selling right here, but most of it is buying, All right? And if I zoom out even more, note how Bookmap handles this, okay? We're showing you now an overall because there was some selling in here. So we give it in a pie display. If you wanna hover over that dot, you can see here exactly what traded. Okay, we get the date the time, what was on the bid or offer at this point, okay, and the volume that traded. Okay, so 57 is this dot here. Okay, anyway, that's the traded volume. That's what we're showing here. Uh, and um, this is uh, uh, advantageous compared to a lot of other products out there uh, because we're showing you the microstructure as well. Okay, so for example, Here's a couple minutes of data between these these uh, uh, two. Um, uh, well, this is one minute of data here between these two vertical dot dash lines, and then another minute here. Okay, and look at these little microstructural areas, and there's significance to this. It, this would just aggregate back and forth like in a footprint chart. Okay, it handles volume that way, and it and it spits it out as a numeric value. 
Uh, I like footprint charts. I don't have anything against them except that they don't show this microstructure. We have no clue of the exhaustion down here, okay? The breakout here of this little structure, the pullback to the, the, the um, point of control of this little structure, uh, we can see it very clearly here, and we can see that it exhausted out. We can see that we rotated back up to where the market can trade here, and we get another breakout. Okay, this is what we call price discovery. Okay, because uh, it can trade higher, uh, it exhausts here, doesn't find trading, but it, it does find traders. It previously found traders up here. It knows the mar market knows that it can trade up here again, uh, so it does, and then you get more buyers pressing price higher. Okay, and price discovery. All right, so anyway, that's the, the traded volume. Uh, so I covered some of the heat map earlier, but uh, that's uh, the volume is only really a part, a fraction of the um, uh, of the order flow. Uh, there's so much more going on here that we we really have no clue uh, to just even looking at this chart right here. Okay, there's all sorts of bidding and offering um, within the auction. Uh, and um, how we usually access that is in the limit order book, okay? And uh, looking at the, where, where they're lined up. Uh, and this is a good view. Uh, I think it's uh, really, really insightful. The problem with the limit order book, though, is that it's, um, it's only for the current market, okay? Once this data um, is displayed, we, we understand what's going on here. But once it's pulled, we don't. Okay, we'd have to memorize uh, where these areas, uh, where they're where they're bidding and offering, uh, and uh, what about areas around it? Okay, uh, like in this area at 27, they're getting more aggressive. They're starting to front run some of that liquidity we just saw. Okay, bigger player too. Uh, this large lot tracker is showing us that there's a bigger player here uh, at work, uh, and um, uh, so now we're getting an understanding of more aggression here on the sell side. They're lowering the offer. Okay, we're getting that here from the uh, from the current book. Okay, and that's good. But what if price comes back up there and like this changes to you know 50 contracts? Well, you'd have to remember the price level and you'd have to remember that behavior that they previously displayed here, right? Um, but uh, you know, and you know if you if you if you want to you know remember that information, you you probably uh, uh, it'll be beneficial. You'll, you'll get a few ticks out of it, maybe a few points, understanding some of the order flow here. But because we can show the historical map, okay, since we take that data, turn it into a heat map in this window here, okay, where you see the numbers change and the heat map changes, and then we record it and place it onto the chart here. Okay, now let me um, bring up the white cutoff a little bit here. Uh, it's getting a little too noisy, right? Uh, now we can start to understand their behavior in some of these areas here. Okay, they were up here at uh, 28 and a quarter. They lowered it right at this point here. It's probably the same player. Pulling liquidity, adding it lower. Pulling liquidity here, adding it higher. It's probably the same player. Okay, there's another player here uh, at, um, at this 26 and three quarters. He was here earlier and he's showing up again. Okay, uh, so uh, now we really can have an understanding of what this whole area, not just looking for a tick or two, but looking for like much bigger moves uh, because we have the historical book in front of us. Look where they're bidding uh, down here. Pretty high liquidity between this area, between 20 and 22. All right, so they want to be buyers down here. This is where, they, where we saw the breakout just occur. And they're supporting that breakout. Because they were here on the offer, we we trade up through nice, real nice move to the upside, and then they're here now at higher area, wanting wanting to be buyers. Okay, so we're able to see that this is bigger picture stuff. I mean, we're looking at uh, between here, this is 10:55, and this is 10:25. Uh, so we're looking at you know 30 minutes of data here. This is bigger picture, but we're still utilizing the limit order book because we have the historical view of it. And that's the advantage you're going to get here uh, with Bookmap. Um, now, uh, understanding the context of this liquidity uh, and the subtleties and the detail, uh, and combining that also with the trade activity, where they're committed in the trades, 
uh, is is where we're really starting to understand the market condition, okay, historically and current, uh, and able to uh, start to anticipate how they might behave in the immediate future. Okay. All right. Any questions? Okay. So uh, anyway, uh, I see a few of you guys are are here from uh, the uh, uh, your attendees in the. Um, advanced uh, order flow webinar so uh, we're going to cover this because uh, um, we covered it yesterday pretty nice stuff um, looking at these reversal patterns um, and then the order flow shift and uh, this one um, yesterday's failed okay and we noted that looking for a possible failure this one is the opposite okay this one followed through nicely uh, to the upside okay so uh, anyway we'll go we'll go through it uh, and uh, we will uh, We'll call it a day here, and uh, we'll see you in the uh, in the other webinar in just uh, just a few minutes. Okay, all right. See you there. Bye bye.